We begin with a school walkout in Lyndhurst. Some students protesting the school's recent attempt to reinforce the dress code. It is a battle that came after female students accused administrators of being sexist. Our Carmen Blackwell has the latest on a controversy that could lead to another showdown. I'm scared, honestly. I, after hearing all these stories, I was like, wow, in a place we're supposed to feel safe. This was the scene at Brush High. Earlier today, a student staged a walkout following the administration's recent efforts to reinforce the school's dress code and student behavior after complaints of sexual harassment between students at the school. Students tell us school officials held two separate assemblies. Sophomore Lillian Anderson shares with 3 News what was said during those assemblies. Instead of the boys being told that they were responsible, the girls were taken to a room and said that it was their job, it was their clothing, and that they had to cover up and that they had to be the mature ones in the situation and that the boys were less mature so that, that we had to lead them to the right path. Lillian is also the organizer of today's walkout and says female students feel ignored by the administration. There was a lot of tears. <laughs> there was a lot of tears. I think men are responsible for the decisions. I think it's uh, I think that's actually promoting rape culture to say that it is our fault. In response to today's walkout, the school board released this statement saying in part, quote, the South Euclid Lindhurst schools is aware of concerns that have emerged. The district treats these concerns with the utmost importance and urgency. Lillian says telling girls what they should or shouldn't wear to school should be the least of their worries. We hope this walkout made them realize that they need to make better decisions and be more proactive towards the cause. Well, there are two things that students would like to see the school change. Number one is appointing uh, more female administrative leaders to create or foster what they say would be a more comfortable environment. And two, uh, providing more education for male students on sexual assault and harassment. They also say if things don't change, students plan to attend next Tuesday's school board meeting and demand to speak with school board officials. Reporting live, Carmen Blackwell. Three news. Okay, Carmen, thank you so much.